What is going on everybody? This is Slick Breaking the Clutch back again with another Halo Reach PC beta video. A lot of people have been asking me what my key bindings as well as my mouse sensitivity settings are, especially because of the current reticle float and smoothness issues that everyone's having. It's really hard to hit shots right now and it feels weird because when you play firefight or campaign, you actually have a really clean shot and then when you go into PvP multiplayer, everything feels a little off. So let's get into how we can potentially combat that with everything that I've gathered from the community and different feedback as well as self practice to see what we can do to prevent this from happening. All right, so of course, let's jump right in here to the settings page. This is how you actually change your settings. Let's take a look first at the mouse sensitivity, so that way, if that's what you want to see, you can watch this and then go back to playing. And then if you want to see my key bindings for you KBM players out there, I will get into that as well and explain what I'm going on. So here we have first our mouse sensitivity. So we have mouse sensitivity set to 2.7 and zoom set to about half. I recommend keeping your mouse sensitivity below four-ish and your zoom mouse sensitivity about half of your mouse sensitivity. That's simply because when you scope in, obviously, so you want speed to be a little bit slower for sniping and DMRing. Now, of course, I want to go into this real quick. This doesn't necessarily change anything, in my opinion. I have noticed jumping from around 2.5 to 4 is a massive difference in sensitivity speed. My number one recommendation is to keep this sensitivity low and then mess with your mouse DPI settings. If you don't have DPI settings custom on your mouse, that's fine. Deal with it and just mess with this until you get it right. If you have DPI settings, you don't know what I'm talking about. DPI is a setting on your mouse that you can customize to give you like an even more perfect sensitivity. Like say, here's my perfect version of sensitivity to me, but I have five DPI settings. Say, I'm actually just moving my mouse the same exact distance left and right. When I up my DPI, you're gonna notice that my sensitivity gets more and more and more extreme. I have five DPI settings on this mouse. Some people have more. I recommend messing with that and combined with your mouse sensitivity at a lower setting, and then you're gonna get the best sensitivity possible. Okay, now this is something I wanna talk about. I think that this is potentially bugged. From my practice in custom games and in PvP, turning this on and off, I actually don't really notice a difference. I actually potentially believe that mouse acceleration is bugged to always on. I think if you have this on, in off there is no physical difference that's just my experience i'm sure someone else maybe has got something different let me know in the comments below if that's the case but here's what you do just in case you're going to take your acceleration min rate set it to zero acceleration max rate set it to one acceleration scale set it to zero power one keep them zero one zero one this is the perfect level so that way if you even have this on or off acceleration on a mouse is just so weird to me in general but if you have this on or off even if this is bugged on you have the lowest settings possible in my opinion uh just to keep yourself you know from getting this problem so you can actually go down to zero this i had this at one trust me one is what i like let's keep it at one uh, now, the last thing I want to talk about here is mouse smoothing. Now, if you guys are avid and veteran FPS PC players, you would know that keeping this on is known as a crime. If you guys don't know what mouse smoothing is, it's essentially the beginning and end action of your mouse as you pan or look up and down. The beginning of it is smoothed out. See, when I try to go as slow as possible, see how even it's kind of lurchy? Essentially, what mouse smoothing does with your reticle while you're looking down your sight is basically smooth out the action. So you don't actually want this to happen because you want to keep this stuff off normally in FPS games to train your muscle memory to learn your pans and your vertical looks to get the best shot. In this situation, I have found in PvP online practice that mouse smoothing set to on does actually make it feel better. I'm not sure why. This is something I would never do, but turning it on definitely makes my shots feel a little bit more clean. Now there's something else, there are a couple other things that we're gonna try as well to improve this problem. If you go over to the field of view setting, okay? I know everyone's been bumping it up to 9 million, right? And keeping up the field of view as high as you can. I had it at 110 for the first couple of hours and was really enjoying it. But this is what I've found from the community reporting back. Keeping it between 87 to 90 immensely reduces the float issue that people are having with their reticles. I'm not sure what that is or why that's the case. I'm sure it's a bug. 343 will look into it and probably fix it. But for now, if you're okay with just not seeing the ass under your DMR, set it down to 87 to 90 and be happy with that and sit with it because it definitely makes the reticle feel a little bit more clean looking left to right. Next thing you want to do is keep your window mode set to borderless. This is how you want to do it. Full screen is simple, borderless is a little bit different. Borderless will keep it so that way you, know, you can cycle in between your windows and whatnot, but not have a border around the outside. This is what you're gonna want to have the best possible lack of float and lack of smoothness settings. 
Last but not least, people have been reporting that if you turn off V-Sync, that overall your shots will be feeling a lot better and much more clean. I have not seen this to actually be effective, but please give it yourself a shot and see how you feel about it, just to see if you do actually get something out of it. So once again, just to very quickly recap, we're gonna go over these settings one more time. Mouse sensitivity, not really as important, but mouse acceleration, make sure it's set to off just in case it is bugged. You want to go to 0101 on these settings and then turn on mouth smoothing for now until it's fixed. Trust me, you'll feel a lot better while you're playing. And then set this field of view to 87 to 90, as well as your window mode to borderless, and you should start immediately feeling a little bit better when you're shooting. In VSync, you can try that turning off to see if that's the case. Now, if you just came here for the mouth smoothness and reticle float problem, that was that. You could leave, you can check it out. But here, I'm going to go into my key bindings and explain my reasonings behind them. So if you guys actually do want to see what my key bindings are, I'm going to go over everything that I've changed. So of course, I have the default WSAD for moving around. But then my first change, jump as well as spacebar, my first change is I change my crouch to left shift. As you can see over here on this side of the screen, I do have my no board displayed like I will in most of my FPS gameplays here on PC. So that way you can see what buttons I'm pushing while I'm playing the game. So I have my crouch set to left shift. Slick, why did you do this? Because in this game in Halo Reach, crouching is incredibly essential. They have by default, I believe they have the armor ability set to left shift. That's okay, but we're gonna change our crouch to left shift here just because when you're using your DMR and you have a lot of bloom, when you crouch, when you're shooting with any projectile weapon in this game, it will immensely reduce the bloom while you're holding shift. I believe it's halved or even more so while you're crouching. So we're going to set this to left shift because WSAD is right here and then shift is literally right there so it's immediate. While you're moving around it just feels much more natural. Moving on, we're going to take a look at fire zoom magnify. I've kept these a default. I've messed around with these a little bit. I even had my zoom set to Q, my magnify zoom. I even took it off for a while. But here's something that I think you really need to do. Let's go back to this screen. You want to change your zoom mode from hold to toggle. This is total preference based, but if you're a seasoned Halo veteran, tapping the right mouse button so that way you can just quickly zoom in and out and not have to hold it just feels better to me. I'm not sure why they would change that. Maybe they just thought people would enjoy that. Just set that to toggles. That way when you tap the zoom button, you can still magnify in and out and you don't have to sit there holding it. It just feels awkward. Next, I have my melee set to the F key. The reason why I have my melee set to the F key, it just feels natural. It's right to the right of D. It seems very quickly, I'm just like running around, punch. You know what I'm saying? Punch, 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 punch. Like it just feels a lot more natural. Uh, reload, I still have set to R as well. Here's one of my big changes as well. I'm sure a lot of people are like, huh? A throw a grenade, I had set to Q for a while, but I changed it to my thumb mouse button. That means I have a button on the side of my mouse. For those of you who don't get a gaming mouse, they're cheap at Walmart for like 10 bucks. You have buttons on the side, feels great. Uh, you're going to want to, or Amazon as well, I should say. This is not sponsored. You can throw your grenade with your thumb mouse button. What that does, you know, while you're looking around with the mouse, I just tap the button and then all of a sudden a grenade's flying out at Mach 10. I really like it. It just feels a lot better for me to have that instead of a key. Now, action, I still have set to E. I think that's totally fine. Change weapon. I have been going back and forth on this. I can't decide if I like Q as change weapon. I can't decide if I like one as change weapon. I'm going to keep it with one for now because I played a little bit of fork knife and uh, I had my guns up one, two, three, four, five, and that just felt kind of right to me. It just, I don't know. I, it, I prefer the scroll wheel for weapons, but you know what the problem is, is that in this game, you can't set the front wheel and the back wheel to changing weapons. So I can't go up for my DMR back for my sniper, for example. You can only go up, 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 up to change your wedding, your, your weapons. It, it's, it's absolutely terrible. I can't even say weapons, man. It just frustrates me so much. Then of course we have switch grenades set to G because G grenades makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And it just feels natural. Once again, from your F, you go to grenade tap, you go sticky frag, sticky frag. Feels like totally natural. And it's just, in my opinion, the best way to do that. Then of course, armor ability, you have less left control. So of course you're gonna notice that I shift or I shifted around my crouch, I have on my shift and my armor abilities I have on my control. This is such that, like I said, it prioritize wise, shift is better. For crouching, you crouch more than you're going to use your armor ability. If you don't in Halo Reach, you're not playing the game right or you're playing hardcore. That's all I have to say. And even if you're playing hardcore, no, that's still not the case because you know why? Is because your control, you don't have an armor ability except for jetpack in hardcore. So you can't argue me that, okay? So set your left control that. It's much easier to tap the sprint button instead while you have to hold shift. You have the whole shift bar. It's a massive key. 
So having that to your crouch is just so essential in my opinion. Then of course, toggle night vision, one of the most crucial elements of the game set to four. When the brutes are hiding in the grass, you wanna be able to tap that night vision and uh, see the brutes hiding around in firefight. Then of course, all these settings are still default. Function one, left control, space bar, tab. And then of course, text chat to T because who doesn't enjoy three quarters of their screen? It's not really that much, but who doesn't enjoy a quarter of their screen taken up by a text box? Come on, look how I spell frustration. That's what I'm talking about. That's perfect right there. All in all, that is everything. And of course, as you guys know, I have these settings uh, from my from the mouse sensitivity section. So anyway, that is everything. I hope you guys really got something out of this video. If anything, uh, use your key bindings, kind of match them to mine and see how you feel when you're playing. Uh, like I said, toggle zoom once again for the mouse sensitivity. Acceleration set to off. Change these settings 0101. Mouse smoothing turn to on. And then of course, video 87 to 90 field of view, borderless window, and then potentially V-Sync on and off depending on how you feel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Slick from Breaking the Club. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody who's actually been sitting around and actually watching these videos. It has been so much fun playing the Halo Reach PvP flight here on the PC. It's, it's an incredible PC beta. A huge shout out to 343. Playing on controller just feels like incredible. Uh, I can't wait till they dial in the PC keyboard settings so that way I can use my mouse and keyboard a little bit more avidly. Um, just because, like I said, the controller just feels immediate, like it feels no problem. When I go into PvP, I'm still kind of torn between how it feels because when I play Firefighter Campaign, my shots are clean and incredible. I want like 180 no scope and grunts, but what does that mean, right? Like that's you don't get anything out of that. I need to be able to 180 no scope players I'm running into in the game. I mean, it's like 20 years of controller experience versus less than a year of Halo, or I'm sorry, less than a couple days of Halo Reach PC experience. Of course, you're going to get smacked until you learn it. I'm sure that uh, 343 will either put out a hot fix for this or fix it in a second that the beta is over, essentially. So hopefully we get some real reticle accuracy, and that's what I'm hoping for. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy our Halo Reach, our Halo Reach PC content, hit the subscribe button as well because we're uploading every day uh, for the foreseeable future. We're trying to get as many gameplays as possible. And if you guys have any questions for me in general, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to update you and get you some valid answers or, you know, just respond to you in general. So thank you guys so much for watching as well. Click one of these videos that you see on the screen right now. And also go check out our esports organization we recently signed with, Carolina Gaming. Their link to their Twitter and website is in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slick from Breaking the Clutch. And we'll see you guys next time. Check out the perfectly timed hearts. Later, guys.